Hey everyone, uh, today we're at a uh, listing that we're shooting for a local client of ours um, in Sassoon City. And uh, what we're going to do first on this process is go in and do a walkthrough and make sure all the lights are on and that uh, all the blinds are adjusted how we would like them to be. Now I'm trying out this GoPro hat mount and that's why the video is a little bit elevated like this. I think on the next video I'm going to adjust it and make it a little bit lower. Now this agent actually sent their assistant by to set everything up ahead of time, which made the job a lot easier, a lot quicker. I'm just verifying that the blinds are adjusted, lights are on, etc. before I start shooting. Little things like this cracked open closet door would bother me. So I closed it. This door right here uh, swings closed, so I'm gonna go out to the car uh, when I do the front of the house shots and grab one of my door stops. Now that the inside is uh, set up how we would like it, I'm gonna start out front. I'm going to make another video on specifics about shooting and camera settings and all that. Uh, but for this purpose, we're going to show the process of shooting a house as well as what the finished edited photos look like. So we're going to start on the left side of the house first. Here's the finished image. Now we're going to do the center front shot. Followed by the right side of the house front shot. Now today is a beautiful day, um, but some days it's not like that. There's uh, issues with clouds and rain and, and all kinds of stuff that we deal with smoke from wildfires uh, but we do offer a free blue sky replacement uh, so if the clouds and the sky isn't perfect we will make it perfect in post-production we always try to get the front door closed and front door open shots uh, a lot of times this really adds value to the listing um, so we're going to do a series of shots here without moving the tripod and you'll be able to see these. Screen door closed with the front door closed. Then we're going to open this screen door and keep the front door closed. Next, we're going to open the front door and have both the screen door and the front door open. There's the three shots. Now we're going to head inside. And we always try to go with the flow of the house. Uh, so we start with the living room, uh, family room, kitchen, spaces. Before I forget, I'm going to put this door stopper down. Uh, as I was saying, we always try to go with the flow of the house. Uh, living spaces followed by the bedroom spaces with the primary bedroom being last, uh, primary bathroom being last, and then we'll go to the backyard. And we always try to keep that flow of the house because that's what we feel agents like to use uh, when uploading to MLS.
I'm explaining the process of why we're shooting angles. Now this house is about 1300 square feet I think and I was able to do the walkthrough as well as uh, the actual photo shoot probably in about 25 minutes. When we're shooting rooms we like to try to box out each room and treat it like a, a square if you will or a rectangle. Uh, so here we have a dining room, uh, eat-in kitchen kind of rectangle, and here we have the living room rectangle, or the family room, whichever you want to call it. Uh, but in this shot, I'm going to treat the entire space as one big rectangle. Uh, and the reason I'm doing that is because if I was to move uh, near the couch, and get that as a separate box, uh, that couch would be prominent in the shot. And we don't want to highlight that. This house has an attached garage. Um, if the garage is empty, uh, has built-in cabinets, looks really nice, then we would capture it. Um, unless the house was cluttered, I'm sorry, unless the garage was cluttered and uh, the agent specifically asked for us to capture it. In this case, the agent didn't ask and there were some items in the garage, so we felt if we were, we were gonna skip it, it wouldn't add value to the listing. Um, but garages are something that uh, we would always ask, usually, do you want us to capture it, yes or no? Now we try to shoot each room or each space from every corner, and we do that with the understanding that uh, the agent may not use every shot, but at least it will give them options uh, to choose from. Sometimes in houses with a lot of furniture, or a house that's been poorly staged, uh, you'll see furniture jammed in a corner, and if we were to try to shoot in that corner, the camera would be further away from the, the corner, and it would make that room look smaller. So in some cases, we can't get each room from every corner, uh, as the case is with this bedroom. Um, there's a dresser in one corner and a bed in the other corner, so we're only going to be able to get two shots in this room instead of the usual four that we normally would take. Even at two shots, uh, it's enough to represent the space well. Uh, it's just we like to give you know as m many images as possible to uh, show the entire space. 
I always get agents that ask, uh, how many images do we deliver with a particular package? Um, our pricing is based on the square footage of the house. And I always tell agents that we don't count the number of images, we don't limit the number of images, uh, and we give uh, the agents what the house gives us. Sometimes houses are, are oddly laid out and we might get more images. If it's a big open space concept house, we might get fewer images. But it's more than enough to accurately represent this listing on MLS. When it comes to bathrooms, uh, in this case the shower door is closed. Uh, we didn't open it. Um, a lot of times agents or sellers will have preferences on if they want to open or close the shower door. We're going to keep it closed. And I was pointing out the air freshener that was plugged into the wall outlet. I was moving the camera slightly in the room to avoid that air freshener. Now we're done inside the house, we're going to go in the backyard. These shutters are really nice. I'm sure they're pretty expensive, but boy do they get on my nerves. I have to close every single one of them to open the door. Now this is a pretty small backyard, um, and it's rectangle, which is nice. So this will uh, allow me to show how we try to get uh, six shots at least of the backyard. So we're gonna do facing the back fence, the uh, left side, and then facing the house, we're gonna do the right side. Then we're gonna face the house and do the center.
facing the house we're gonna do the left side Facing the back fence, we're going to do the right side. And then facing the back fence, we're going to do the center. And that's it. Uh, looking at my count, including the walkthrough, this entire shoot. Um, Took a little under 16 minutes actually. And we had it done. So I'll send these images to my editing team and I'll deliver them to the agent in the morning. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it.